Welcome back to PD Tutorial. And after downloading Pure Data onto your machine and install the distribution, we want to have a look at our first patcher today. So we open PD, and when the program starts, there pops up the PD window or the terminal window. In this window, we get all the information what Pure Data is running and executing right now, and you can print out messages and numbers and text onto this screen to get some informational insights. If you want to start coding, you have to open a new patcher. That's the blank canvas where you start writing your code. So command N and we have a new blank canvas appearing. This is the place where you start to put your objects and where you start writing your code. This patcher has two modes. It's called the edit mode by default. When you command E, you go to live mode. In live mode, the patch is executed and running. In edit mode, it's editable. That's where you do changes, where you alter your code, do whatever you want. And then at the end, go to live mode and your code is up and running. So for placing the first object, of course, we go back command E to edit mode and hit command one for an object box in empty one to appear. If you type in a correct argument and click, it converts to an pure data object. Those objects are little snippets of code. They perform a certain task. They execute a certain thing. And if you spell and type in right, they appear. If you hit command one and for example, do some spelling, then of course you see an arrow and this can't be created. So you select it, hit backspace and it disappears. Command one gives you an object box and type in the correct name of the object you want to create. Command two makes a message box appear. Those boxes can contain text, for example, or if you do a second one, for example, it contains a number. And you will see that uh, text, atoms, text messages and numbers will be the main data you will going to process. Now comes the main thing of pure data. It's connecting the outlets. These are the little um, dashes at the bottom with the inlets of objects. These are the dashes on the top. We drag and draw the lines. And now the code objects are connected. We hit command E for live mode. And now this is executable. Clicking hello makes hello to appear on the PD window. Clicking the number makes the number appear. So this is the whole logic of pure data. You execute messages and data and send them via chords to another object. And at the end, there is the result of the code that you want to write. We go back to edit mode and introduce the third object, it's called the number box hidden under command E. This is some kind of a GUI based object and it stores and displays a number, of course. We go back to live mode and then we can click and drag it and set it to a certain value. Now it's integers, uh, whole numbers, and if you have held space and click it, you can go to decimal values and send them. And you can connect them, like we make a new message box, say 100, that's the wrong one, 100, click and connect it to the number box, go to live mode, we can set the number to a new value. So the message 100 is sent to the number box, the number box executes it and sets itself to 100, sorts 100 and passes this also to the print object. Now we can alter it again, set it back again to 100. And that's the main logic of pure data. By the time this becomes a bit messy and if your patch is growing, you will maybe lose track. So a very important object is the comment, command five. It's just plain text and it's not executed and it just helps you to set some reminder, for example. Um, these were called a message box and 
this was called a box and this was called a object or object box so simple box <laughs> is hidden under command four um, but we have a look at it later on that just happened by accident so we have several boxes go to command e live mode and we have message boxes can contain text numbers can set a number box for example and we can drag around the number box and make those numbers appear 